In this lesson, I'll teach you about rectangles. A rectangle is a quadrilateral, and that means that a rectangle has four sides and four angles. Now let's talk about the special features that make a shape a rectangle. So I've drawn a rectangle here in blue, and the first thing to notice about a rectangle is that all four angles are right angles, and I'm going to mark them. So you mark a right angle with a little square in the corner of the angle. And this means that these two lines meet at 90 degrees exactly. Or you could put a piece of paper up to this angle and put the corner in there and the corner would fit perfectly. So rectangles have four right angles. The other thing about rectangles is that the opposite sides are equal and parallel. And what sides are opposite? Well, the sides that face each other. So let's label them. This side we'll call A. Its opposite is over here. Now, these two sides are equal in length, and they run parallel, which means the lines of these two sides will never, ever intersect. Now, there's another pair of opposite sides, and that's right here. So you've got B, and I've just marked them with two lines here so you know these are different. So these two sides are opposite each other. They face each other. These lines are parallel. They will never intersect each other, and the length is equal. Since the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal, you can define a rectangle by its length and width. And let me draw in where the length and width is in this rectangle. So the length and width of a rectangle are made up of two of the sides, right? Because we know the width is going to be equal to the other width over here, and the length is going to be equal to the top of this rectangle as well. So that's why we can define a, a rectangle by length and width. Now let's practice partitioning a rectangle into smaller parts inside. And I'll show you what I mean, but we're going to use this to help us find the length and width of a rectangle. So here we have a rectangle, and we've made smaller squares inside of it, so we can count how many squares make up the length and width. So let's take a look at the length. There are one, two, three, four, five, six squares, and we'll call these units. There are six units in the length, so the length is six. Now let's talk about the width. There are one, two, three, four squares that make up the width, or up and down. So the width is four units. Now the width makes these rows here. You see as they go across rows, and the length has these columns up and down. Now what you can do is you can count six four times because there are six units in each of these rows. So six, 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 and six. And when you skip count, six plus six gets you to twelve. So you go six and then six more is twelve. Six more than twelve is eighteen. And six more than eighteen is twenty-four. So that means there are twenty-four small squares contained in this larger rectangle. In this lesson, you've learned a little bit more about rectangles. Thanks for watching.